everybody. Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a crazy book tonight about some road signs. Now, do you know what road signs are? Like when you're out with mom and dad and they're driving in the car and you see a red sign and it says stop. That's a stop sign, right? Yes, that tells you that you have to stop. Well, there's lots of road signs out there and they're really, really important. But in this book, the signs run away. They all run away. It's called runaway signs. Look at them. All the road signs are running away. What will we do without the road signs? And where are they going? We need to get into this book and find out what's going to happen because road signs are really important and we need them. We need them to tell us when to stop and go and cross and don't cross. Okay, we've got to get into this book and find out what's happening with these road signs. Are you ready to get into this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Runaway Signs, written by Joan Hollum and Allison Farrell. Day in and day out, the two kids on the school crossing sign showed the students where to cross safely. It was an important job. See, the kids are walking across the street and the sign's saying, Cross the street here, kids. The sign's keeping the kids safe. Still, on the last day of school, the stick girl and the stick boy on the school crossing sign couldn't help but feeling left out as the students headed off on their vacations. Woo, soccer can't be where I come. I'm going to my grandma's. I'm going to see the world's biggest pickle, say the kids as they're rushing off on vacation. Those kids didn't even say goodbye or invite us along. I feel kind of underappreciated, don't you? say the kids on the sign. They're feeling left out. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's run away. We'll go on our own vacation. No one will miss us. Signing off. Let's see where the road takes us. Oh no, they're jumping off the sign. They're going on vacation. The sign kids soon found another sign who wanted to explore. Hi bike, wanna go for a ride? Um, okay. I'm tired of just hanging around here. And so the three of them traveled out into the world seeking adventure. Oh no, they're leaving the signs. Let's roll. Now there's nothing on the signs. They're going to be empty. Along the way, they met more signs doing important jobs. That bike is really moving, says the cow on the cow crossing sign. Everyone should take a break. Bridge ahead. Better duck! Uh-oh, the ducks are going to jump off that sign. Hey, signs, want to go on vacation? Uh, you mean we can actually stop working? Asked the other signs. Sure, why not? Say the kids on the bike. Oh, no. Lots of signs jumped at the chance to take a vacation. Vacation sounds good to me. Let's bounce. Yippee! This pea is for ready to play for a change. Let's take a hike. Very good idea. Oh no, that sign says be alert for bears, but the bear jumped off. Come on, let's go. Take care out there. I think I'll stay put. Thanks though, says the caution sign. The caution sign wants to play it safe. He's not going. As soon as they discovered the perfect place for fun and adventure, wow! Who wants to ride a roller coaster? Me, me too, me three. They're at the amusement park. Look at all the signs running in. Adventureland turned out to be great. The signs were having a whale of a good time. Woohoo! I can see the whole town from here. Whee! Wow, they're having so much fun on their vacation. But then the signs noticed that something wasn't right. Uh-oh. Yikes! Um, I'm here for summer school. Where do I cross? Where do I ride my bike? Anyone know where the library is? Hong Kong. One way, dude. Says who? There's no one way sign. Oh no. There's all kinds of trouble because the signs aren't there to tell people what to do. Ah, oh, says the caution sign. I knew leaving was a bad idea. Isn't this our work site? There are no signs. Maybe it's that away. 
This has to be it. These potholes are huge. Nobody knows what to do because there's no signs. With the signs gone, the town was in a tangle. We need to help. Get us down. Okay, signs. Stop. The party's over. It was time to get back to work. The real people are in real trouble. They need us. All signs, please proceed back to your sign post. Everybody's headed back. They know how important they are now and that we need them. The signs raced back to their post. And then I said, let's take a vacation. Just one little vacation. What could go wrong? Um, I guess everything. Signs to the rescue, says the stop sign as they're all running back. Back in town, they took their usual places. Here's my spot. Uh, vacation was fun, but I kind of missed this old signpost. Boost me a little higher here. It'll be good to get back to work, says the sign on the bike. Well, now they're happy that they're going back to work. All the people in town were so appreciative to have things back to normal. Now I see where to cross the road. Signs, we missed you so much. Good job, signs. The signs felt so good they decided they'd never leave their posts again. Ah, uh, well, almost never. They left and they put up a sign that says back in five minutes. There's only one way I like ice cream, with sprinkles. Coming people, we're on our way. Everybody's got to stop and take a break sometime. We'll be right back, say the signs, as they ran off to get some ice cream. Oh, those silly signs. They saw all the kids getting ready for summer vacation, and they thought they would take a vacation. And they kept the, the little signs were driving along, riding the bike, and they were asking all the other signs to go with them. And then all the signs were gone. And then, did you see what happened? The people were crashing into each other. The kids didn't know whether they could cross the street. Nobody knew what to do because the signs were gone. And then the signs realized how important they were, and they came back. So good to know that the signs are there. Signs are important. Now I understand that they felt like nobody cared, but then they found out that they did, that we really do need the signs. When you're out with mom and dad driving in the car, do you ever look at the signs? Do you look at the stop sign and the signs that tell you you could cross? Signs are very important. They help to keep us safe. So when you're out with your mom and dad and you see a sign that says stop, you make sure you stop. And if you see it, you're supposed to cross in a certain spot, cross the road. Hold mom and dad's hand. Never cross the road without holding mom and dad's hands. Hold mom and dad's hand and cross exactly where the signs say you can cross. That will keep you safe because the cars will see the sign and they will stop and then you can cross. Signs are very important and they're kind of fun too. It's fun to read the signs when you're traveling in the car. I hope you'll do that the next time you're out with mom and dad. Talk to them about the signs. But not tonight because you shouldn't be out looking at signs right now. You should be getting into bed. It's time for all my little friends to get under their covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, if you're driving in the car and you see a sign and it says stop, make sure you stop. Tell dad, hey, that's a stop sign. We have to stop. I bet dad obeys the signs. See, mom and dads know how to obey too. And what are you supposed to do with mom and dad? Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.